Perfect weather, perfect stadium. This is the scene here at the home of Tottenham Hotspur in London. I'm Derek Ray, and my commentary partner, as always, is Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It is Tottenham Hotspur facing Brighton and Hove Albion. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? And we're looking at a player who seems to be at the peak of his powers, Hyung Min Son. In what way might he contribute today, Stuart? Well, he's such a natural finisher. He has everything a good goal scorer needs. Composure, technique and awareness. He will certainly need to be tightly marked today. And Spurs will go with this starting 11. Hugo Lloris is the goalkeeper. Matt Doherty plays with Reggie Long in the fullback positions. And the centrepiece of the attack today is Harry Kane. And the team selected for Brighton and Hove Albion. Well, I think they have a nice balance to their team. A solid back four, two holding midfielders, three creative players in advance of them, and a mobile centre forward. It's a good team. And the match begins. Davis and Hoybier with it. Bentancourt. Reguilon. And the flag has gone up here. Offside the decision. Pascal Gross. Well over the top, but it will go through to the keeper. Reguilon. Now Ben Davis. Hoybier. Kane. And you can sense the threat is there. And making the run to the inside. Tremendous block. But he was in the right place to intercept. High quality defending. Neil Mopé. Trossard. Now what can they do from here? They've given it away. Harry Kane. Must score! Well, here's the replay, and just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back. And the finish is just as good. That's an excellent goal. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1-0. Now, let's see what they can do here. It's a good-looking ball in behind. The end product just wasn't there. 
And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Well, that break looked so uh, promising, but nothing coming from it. Pabier. Doherty. Speculative ball fired to the near post. Well, when it left the boot, I thought it might have a chance of fooling the keeper, but it didn't. Trossard. It's the turn of Spurs now. Bentancourt. Now Son. And space to cross it. Can he find the net? Well, he couldn't worry the keeper with that effort. Trossard. Lalana. On to Gross. Joel Feldman. Here's Gross. What a creative look about this. But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. Good bit of pressing. Happy to take on the shot. Terrific block. Trailing, but hope in the form of a corner. Played over. And it's a goal. Level again. What a match this is turning out to be. Well, here's another look at it. Certainly delivery into the box couldn't have been any better. And it ends up with a fairly simple finish. Certainly not much the goalkeeper can do about that. So back underway, one goal apiece here. Beautifully weighted ball. And it's in! They're back in front, stunning scenes here. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a really nice ball to put him through. The vision to set up the chance is outstanding, and there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. Well, back underway as we reflect on the goal that's made it 2-1. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Kane. It's with Bentancourt. And Kane comes into the move. Good-looking attack, this. Well, they really had to be on their toes defensively, given the circumstances. Committed challenge. And it's gone over the top towards Kane. And by a wafer-thin margin, offside. Pabier. Dejan Kulusevski. Firing it towards goal. Now keeper getting both gloves on the ball. Very quick thinking there. No more time left. That is it for the first half here at the home of Tottenham. Well, certainly Hyung Min Son was very hard to contain in the first 45. Stuart, your thoughts? Well, it was certainly a good first 45 minutes for the lad. Obviously, he got his goal to put them in front, but he's looked lively throughout too. Hopefully, we see more of him in the second half.
So the second half underway, with Spurs looking to build upon a largely positive first-half performance. Lalana on to Gross. Mopé. How did he manage to reach that? Hugo Lloris. Corner kick played in. And that is a defender doing his job, clearing it off the line. Ross. And will it be the leveller? Oh, wonderful save. Well, he reacts so quickly there. That's a great save. Over it comes. Well, they haven't overcome all the difficulties. Webster. And here's Lalana. And he takes it away. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. And it looked like open road for them, but up a dead end. Mopé. On to Gross. A really sumptuous ball. That's all they can conjure for now. Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick and his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. So on with the action. 3-1 the scoreline at the moment. Lalana. He's given us away. Well, as you can see, Spurs have completely controlled the possession. Yes, they've played well when going forward, but it's been their ability to regain the ball, which has made them so hard to play against here, and it makes them such a good team. It's been a brilliant performance so far. Not a good pass. <laughs> Beautifully disguised ball. You'll be hard pressed to find a better save than that. Loris. <laughs> Playing it in. Still not clear. Dunk. Well, they have the ball once more. And Tottenham struggling to keep the ball. And possession given away. Pascal Gross. Promising attack, this. Well, he made sure there was absolutely no way through. Not to be advised giving the ball away there. How did he manage to reach that? Hugo Lloris. <laughs> Both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. <laughs> Delivering it. Not all that convincing defensively. Well, goal kick, just as it was looking promising.
Well, almost at full time, and it really has gone swimmingly for Spurs. Well, they've been much the better side up to now. Some of their approach play has been excellent. They just need to control possession for these final few minutes to cap off a really good display. Harry Kane. Son. Now Harry Kane. Son. Can he finish this? And still an opportunity. And problem solved for now. Just 10 minutes to go. Now they've lost the ball. Lalana's in there. Well, it still could be dangerous. Oh, he's blocked it! Running with the ball confidently. My goodness, that save. Fully stretched he was. One for his own highlights reel. Substitution for Brighton. So making the substitution now. Number 14, Adam Lallana. To be replaced by number 10, Alexis McAllister. And over comes the corner. Clears it away. Well, far from the ideal pass. Oh, big chance! Not an attempt that will live long in the memory. Well, what a waste that is. It's far too easy for the keeper. Lucas Moura. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. And the referee blows his whistle, and Tottenham are the victors. They get the three points from this game. What did you make of it? Yes, Derek, fairly comfortable in the end, wasn't it? Thought they controlled the middle of the park for the most part, and going forward, there were some really nice, incisive plays as well. Good result for them. Well, in typical fashion, Son carried out his duties efficiently. I wonder what you made of his performance. Well, what more could you ask for? His build-up play was clever, his movement was dynamic, and he scored a couple of goals. What a player he is.